Hi, it's Squeezy and in today's video I just want to talk about how to make people hate you. Now if you're sat there at home and you're tired of being loved and you're sick of it, you want people to start hating you, well I'm just going to give you a few steps to make people actually hate you, like people to actually hate you. So the first step to make people hate you is that you have to do what you want. There's something about you doing what you want that just gets people to hate you. Stop doing what others are doing. Stop doing what others expect you to do. Stop doing things to impress others. And then that's the moment you start being hated. It's quite simple, you know, actually. So once you've done that, you've started getting hated. Also, start doing something that helps you. Once you start doing something that helps you, people are supposed to hate you, naturally. It makes people feel bad, like you're leaving them, okay? Separate yourself from them and start doing something that actually helps you. Once that starts, and then that's when the hating starts. You know, that's that's when people start to hate you. Family members will hate you because you start to separate yourself from being, you know, whatever the fuck your family members look like or what they are. Another way to make people hate you is find yourself a black boyfriend. So if you're a girl out there and you want your entire family to hate you, just find a boyfriend that's black. So the chances are that your family will not accept the boyfriend and they'll hate you. Your, your friends might hate you out of envy that your black boyfriend, which is me, has a bigger dick than their boyfriends. Because I'll ask you to show them a picture of my dick so you can brag to them because I'm a nice boyfriend like that. So yeah, you can do that. Another way to make people hate you is to get in a relationship with a white girl. So if you're black or you're Asian or whatever, just get in a relationship with a white girl and people should hate you. That should do it. So, But that, that will bring a lot of hate because we live in a civilized world. But if you want people to hate you, you can do that as well. But as long as you're smashing that, you don't have to give a shit. It's between you and the love of your life. Now that to make people hate you is to borrow money from them and blank them. Not black them, just block them on any social network. Do it intentionally, you never come back in the area wherever they gave you the money from. Another way to make people hate you if you're a girl is to start going to the gym and getting a big ass. If you start getting a big ass, girls with skinny ass, with flat ass TV asses will hate you. They'll feel like you don't belong to them anymore, like you think you're better than them. So if you want girls to hate you and you're a girl, just join the gym, start putting on some muscle, some ass, whatever, and then that should do it. That should make girls hate you. Your nan will probably hate you and your mom will hate you because they'll be a bit jealous that why does she have a massive ass and we just have TV screens behind our bums. Another to make people hate you is to dump them before just before Valentine's Day. Once you do that, the person you've dumped is probably going to kill himself or hurt herself and then she'll post on social network before she kills herself that you dumped them before Valentine's Day. And which will, which will be great because everyone will hate you and that's exactly what you want. Another way to make people hate you is to go to your ex's funeral dressed in bright clothes. This is something I want to do when my ex dies. I'll go to her funeral when her family is grieving because her family is her fault. They give back to a slag that cheats on you in a gangbang. So I don't even care about her family. Once she dies, I'll go to her funeral dressed in all bright clothes and I want them to hate me even though. Another to make people hate you if you're a girl is by having big tits. So the girls without big tits that look like boys and those type of girls that you get in a relationship with and you constantly have to check them at night to make sure they still have a vagina so you're not sleeping with a boy. Those type of girls will hate you because they will have no tits and it will be hard for people to tell if they're girls or they're trans or they're whatever. Okay, so those type of girls will hate you. So just go out there, get some implants in your tits and people that should do it. People should start hating you from there. Another way to make people hate you is obviously by smiling a lot. There's something about smiling a, a, smiling a lot that makes negative people feel offended. So if you smile a lot, um, that will probably help. That will probably get you hated by negative people and they'll fuck off out of your life, which is great. Okay, another way to get people to hate you, which is most important, is by brushing your teeth. People with sticky breath will try to put you down. People with stinky breath will hate you. They'll say, why doesn't his breath stink like mine? Or why doesn't his pum pum or her pum pum stink like mine? Exactly. So once you do that, people with stinky breath will hate you. They will avoid you, which is great because you don't want to stick there because you don't want to be smelling their fucking stinky breath. Another way is to also shower a lot. If you shower daily, people who have who stink like shit will avoid you with their stinky ass shit, which is great. You don't want those people around you. So those are some of the ways you can make people hate you. Obviously, when people hate you, it kind of benefits you in the long run because no one has ever made it far in life by making everyone love them. Go and ask my nigga Jesus Christ, okay? Jesus Christ is not remembered because he was loved. He's remembered because he was killed and put on a cross. Don't worry, no one's going to put you on a cross, but they will hate you, okay? Let them hate. Let them bring the hate in. As long as you don't have to know their stinky breath and their funny stench, whatever they call it. 
some gonorrhea stinky breath okay but anyway thanks for watching peace